Randy Pike here at the Tegan Studios. Today, I'm going over to Hotwire 3.0. I'm going to show you how to bind it with an Apple device. I'm going to show you how to bind it with this Android device. I'm also going to walk you through the app on both versions to kind of get you started and show you where the basic features are. All right, guys, so the first step you're going to do with your Hotwire 3.0 is you're going to bind it to your mobile device. This is an iPhone 6 with a brand new Hotwire. So basically, we're going to go download the app from the App Store. You're going to see this screen. It's going to show off in demo mode. Just simply swipe to the left, click on the bind button, click on bind up here, and it's going to say turn on the speed controller, press and hold the LED button on the hot wire. So all you're going to do is turn on your car, hold down the red button until that blue LED light starts to flash like that, and then click start bind. Once that blue LED is solid, you can know that your mobile device is now bound to that hot wire 3.0. Click on done. Once you're done with that, the hot wire is going to read the settings off the current speed controller that you're attached to. This might take a second for the first time for sure, but once it's done, it'll tell you at the top of the screen, I'm hooked up to an RSX running 260 software. And you can see your regular setup dashboard that you typically see in a hotwire. Now there's a couple things I want you to notice right away. One of them and the most critical is this blue LED right here. That lets you know that you're currently bound and connected to a hotwire 3.0. That's important because if you're having issues and that blue LED is not lit, lit up blue, you know you're not actually connected to one. That's also your drive button. So you can actually click on this and now you can go drive your car. So if you do a couple laps and let's say you want to change your drag brake, you pull your phone out of your pocket, grab the app, connect to that hidden that red button, which will then turn blue once it connects to the 3.0 hot wire, and then you can make your changes. And it obviously takes a second for it to read it. Now something that most people are starting to ask the question about, this is hot wire 3.0, if it's in your car, is disabled during the car's motion. So you actually have to pull off the track and actually stop the car for a second before it'll actually allow you to connect. Something to think about. But as you can see, I'm connected again, right back to my RSX. There's my main dashboard, and I can click on my brake tab, my throttle tab, or my timing tab. All of those are available. Once I'm done, I make a change. I go up to swipe to the right, hit apply. It's gonna apply those settings if I changed any. Then once I'm done, I can hit the blue icon up on the top and drive away. And that's how you do the basic features of the Hotwire 3.0. We're happy to give it to you guys. It's been a long time waiting. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media for the latest information on Tegan Racing products.